Okay, let's taste test a garlic chip. Like, what is that? Okay, texture is crunchy, flavor is garlicky. She's good. Now I'm gonna take my little cheese spreader and we're about to spread some cheese, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, the cracker is gonna crack. Ugh, told you. How about let's just like dollop it on there, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I've ever had this cheese before. Sounds familiar, who knows, but let's do a taste test. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my God. That's so good. Okay, I'm going to add some cheese. We're going to do a whole moment, okay? I'm going to add some salami. So we got the salami there. We're going to have an olive. All right. Cheers. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10, recommend. Okay, so I ate all of the salami and the olives, and that's everything else I have left. So I'm just gonna go put the cheese back in the fridge and that was a really good meal. It was very satisfying. Amberlyn Reed's food choices are like a roller coaster ride through a junkyard. It's like Rafe perfectly summed it up back in 2018. She's a foodie to the point where she probably dreams in flavors. But now, now she's moved on to become a connoisseur of not just food, but a whole new level of addiction Olympics. For ghettos, big and diets, she's on a first name basis with Taco Bell, has a VIP pass to Ramenville, and is the reigning queen of McDonald's drive through kingdom. And let's not forget her morning coffee, a beverage so loaded with caramel it's basically a liquid dessert with a side of caffeine. Unsurprising she doesn't have a 24-7 Boris to parked outside her house. But hey, her gal better called it quits, so she waved goodbye to diets faster than you can say caloric conscience. Because clearly, when it comes to menu choices, gal biters don't matter, but God forbid she skips her daily McDonald's run. I'd suggest hobbies or goals that don't involve a fork, but at this point, she'd probably find a way to turn skydiving into a foodie event. Jump with a slice of pizza in each hand. You know what they say, when life gives you lemons, squeeze them over your french fries and call it zest. Amber's food escapades are like a sitcom where the punchline is always takeout. But hey, if she ever pens a cookbook, it'll be titled Caloric Chronicles, How to Make Friends with Your Stomach and Lose Your Gallbladder in 30 Days. I guess the takeaway is, Amberlynn Reed's relationship with food is more complex than a Netflix drama, and it's getting more twists and turns than a Kardashian scandal. Maybe next time, Amber, consider a salad. Nah, who are we kidding, right? So as you guys know, I discovered Gatorade Zero Glacier Freeze, which is literally the best. I started drinking it. I started becoming obsessed with it. And people were like, Amberlynn, you don't actually need that. Maybe I don't. But I will say what I have noticed is ever since I started drinking these, I feel more hydrated and I don't really get Charlie horses in my legs anymore. So I am trying to like be up, moving, doing more. So when that happens, sometimes at night while I'm sleeping, I get Charlie horses. But ever since I started drinking this... I don't get them anymore. But then I sadly went to the store and they didn't have Gatorade Zero Glacier Freeze. And I was like, crap, what do I do? So I ended up being without these for like a week and I started getting Charlie horses again. And I was like, is this a coincidence? I don't know. So I said, screw it. Since I can't get the Zero, I'll just get the regular one, which does suck, I will say, because it's like, like, look at those carbs. Look at the sugars, look at the calories. The one I usually drink has Zero all of that. And it's crazy, but I prefer the Zero. Like this one, it tastes great. Like I love it, I'm obsessed. I'm definitely gonna drink them, but the other one tastes so much better. Whoa, hold up. Gatorade on one hand and a whole salami party in her belly on the other. That's like saying you're worried about a mosquito bite while swimming in a piranha-infested river. Amberlin, your choices are like a menu of contradictions. Peak performance and a package of salami don't usually go hand in hand unless you're a competitive eater. I guess she's redefining the term athlete to include anyone who can reach for the fridge without breaking a sweat. Sodium galore. It's like she's conducting an experiment to see how much salt her body can handle before she turns into pickle reed. And hey, who needs ankles when you can have balloon animal legs, right? Lymphedema, brought to you by the creators of I swear I can't even pronounce that. And let's talk about that salami speed run, inhaling it like it's a magic trick. I bet she's got salami swallower in her resume under special skills. Not a single chew witnessed, the salami just entered the twilight zone of her stomach without passing go or collecting $200. Honestly, Amber's choices are as consistent as a mood ring at a chaotic house party. But hey, I guess when life hands you sodium, you make salted water retention. Keep doing you, Amberlin. At least you're keeping the sodium industry in business hello hello it is the next day if i look tired i am tired so two nights ago i only slept for two hours and then last night i only slept for four so 
you know what? I'm grateful that I got any sleep at all, but I am definitely low on energy. I'm tired. It was all worth it though. Um, but my mom and her boyfriend are actually coming over today and I'm going to be making some chili. Um, this is the first time that she's ever had my cooking ever. Like I'm 32 and she has never ate my cooking before. So that's going to be fun and interesting. And I know there's like jokes, there's memes, whatever it may be, where people talk about my chili online, but everyone in my real life who has ever tried it thinks it's the best. Like one of my exes, the pickiest ever, and she said that's the best chili she's ever had. So literally anyone who's ever tried it loves it. Um, I love it. Like I do know how to cook. I have made some very questionable choices in the past with soups especially when I was dating Destiny. Um, very questionable, but they always tasted good. Um, I would never make a soup like that now. I just wanna make that very clear. So my chili is almost done. It's been simmering for about 20 minutes now. So I'd say it probably has about 10 more. Okay, so my mom and her boyfriend have been gone for some hours. I didn't vlog because I'll vlog in front of my mom, but I get a little shy to vlog in front of her boyfriend. Like me and him, we get along really good. I really like him, but like, I get nervous vlogging in front of certain people. But I was shocked. Um, they loved my chili. They both got up to get a second bowl and I was like, okay, I did that. Normally I make my chilies more like a chili soup because I really love broth, but I wanted to make it more thick this time. Came out really freaking good. Um, I like to eat mine with Fritos. So my mom had hers with Fritos as well, uh, but her boyfriend requested saltines so i got those for him and then while we were eating um i had them watch a simple favor but it turns out i've already had my mom watch that movie if you guys know me that's my favorite movie but her boyfriend's never seen it so um yeah an amazing movie and there's gonna be a second one that's supposed to come out at the end of 2024 like the beginning of 2025 so hurry it up so apparently lightning struck and Amberlin's chili actually tasted good this time. Hold up, did the universe just hiccup or did she accidentally stumble upon a spice rack and decide to use it? Let's rewind a bit. Her previous attempts at chili were about as appealing as a root canal on a roller coaster. I mean, we're talking culinary crimes against humanity. It was like someone emptied a spice cabinet into a pot and hoped for the best. The last time her chili tasted good, the dinosaurs were still critiquing it. But this time, it's like a phoenix rising from the ashes of her past culinary disasters. Did she actually follow a recipe? Did Gordon Ramsay make a surprise appearance in her kitchen? Or maybe she made a pact with the cooking gods for a change of fate? Whatever mystical force intervened, let's acknowledge the impossible. Amberlin's chili, the one that usually makes people weep, has finally received the stamp of not atrocious. Is this the start of a new era? Hello. So, oh my God, I just stood outside for an hour. I was waiting for the Uber because I got some Taco Bell. It's a moment, it's fine, I promise. And I met a guy and I shaked his hand and it has to be the softest hand I've ever felt. So, um, anyways, I was out there for like an hour. I didn't realize I was gonna be out there for an hour, but the Uber was running very behind, which happens, not complaining, but it's like 33 degrees and I wasn't wearing a coat. My nose like burns and my cheeks burn and my fingers were numb but we're okay um we're gonna do a taco bell haul um yeah so i was massively craving they're just like chips and nachos so you just get those little chips and nachos <laughs> okay chips and cheese and then a the little bit of chips that we got there and yes um it's actually 2 a.m right now <laughs> oh boy and i got two of these tacos because they're like my favorite it's just like the regular hard taco but it's like the the cheese one so you guys have seen me like do a mukbang of this that's bomb i found some chips at the bottom of the bag so score for me anyways i don't know hi i'm not doing vlogmas this year it's been weird for me Everyone just uploaded their first Vlogmas video, and I am like, oh, that was once going to be me. That once was me, and instead, I am eating Taco Bell in my bed. Hmm. Hello. So it's been like 10 minutes. These chips are the grossest things I've ever tasted. I was looking forward to this more than anything else. They taste like poisoned, bitter 
oil chips. Disgusting. Okay, so we're always in this dang fridge, aren't we? Yes, I have a few buzz balls. Don't come for me. Since most of my meal sucked, um, I'm gonna have a few pieces of salami. So, huh. Salami is so good. Like I realized everything about salami is the very thing that I hate in life. Cold, gross, red looking meat that is just everything I hate. Really, really, truly like, ew. But I grew up on it. So I'm used to it. I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. It's not healthy by any means, but she's tasty. So yes, salami instead of poisoned chip oil. ...to the food cause, standing in the freezing cold at 2 a.m. just to summon an Uber for a round of mediocre Taco Bell. That's commitment, folks. Amberlin, the food enthusiast who'd probably chase an ice cream truck through a snowstorm if it meant a cone at the finish line. But let's be real here. The thought of her sprinting after a food truck through the streets is as believable as finding a unicorn chilling in the backyard. Walking for an hour, maybe if her taco sprouted legs and ran away from her, she'd reconsider. Frostbite over greasy, stale taco chips. That sounds like the title of a cautionary tale. The perils of late night munchies, a chilling experience. I guess risking hypothermia for a snack is the epitome of dedication to the cause of fast food fandom. Amberlin's commitment to her culinary adventures is as unshakable as her reluctance to embark on a brisk stroll. It's like her superpower, magnetism to take out joints, paired with an aversion to physical activity. But hey, in the pursuit of nachos, she's willing to brave the arctic tundra. Priorities, right? 